So I'm gonna put side chain onto this bit of music and also that bit of music. So let's just listen to it. Turn up the volume. Oh my god. <laughs> drums well the kick doesn't really make much of an impact on the song it's not really pronounced like I like it to be so how, how I found to do it to do sidechain is first what you got to do is select the bit the track or whatever this is called uh, loop I have no idea please I have no I don't know any of the terminology just listen to me <laughs> and then you got to go to this thing click that and uh, once that's brought up, make sure you go right here to volume. And this is how we're gonna be adjusting or modulating or whatever the whatever you're supposed to call it, the volume to go along with the kicks. So what I like to do is solo the not get the kicks, and then get whatever you're working on, and just uh. All right. So next what you're gonna do is you take this, maybe expand this so you can see everywhere, put this here at another point, drag it all the way down to negative infinity dec decibels, and uh, make it as close to this as you can because you want as soon as the kick to start, you want the volume to duck. And then what you're going to want to do is look up here to see like uh, see these individual kicks and see like the duration of the sound and like where it starts to taper off and how it tapers off. And then adjust your volume accordingly. So I'm going to do that. As you can see, I made a curve. I made it go extend a little bit past where the sample ends just to give it a little bit more impact. But if we loop that and well, yeah, if you loop it, you can hear the amazing brilliance. You can hear the kick is making the volume duck. Now you're not gonna have to draw this out every time. What you're gonna wanna do is select all of that, hit Command C on the keyboard, and then paste it wherever there's a kick or a snare hit. Or I guess that'd be a kick and a clap combined. Yeah. So Command V for paste might do this to you, it does that to me. I just scroll back, make minimize, or not minimize, but make that smaller. And then just keep selecting these and copying and pasting them until the whole thing is filled. Right now we got our um, side chains, volume thingies right here, and we can listen to what we got so far. <laughs> So the reason that I, in the beginning of each one, put this little part that goes straight down is so that when I paste it, it doesn't like read this and read that and draw a line between them. It draws a line between this and that, and then a line between that and that. So it'll stay in the normal volume, not go all crazy. But what about the rest of the song? The rest of the song sounds like this. That ain't no side chain. Well, why don't you be quiet and let me do my thing? So what you're gonna wanna do, select everything. You might have to zoom in to make sure. Yep, everything's selected. And make sure this is selected too. Make sure this is white. And this is also the track you're selecting. And hit Command C again to copy it. No. Command C. And then go over here, select this where you want to paste it, and then Command V. And there you go. And then again, make sure this is selected or else it'll just paste the blank MIDI thing, MIDI track, I, I have no idea what they're called, with no notes in it, just the volume. And then this is the sub bass. Command V. And this is what it sounds like now. <laughs> Perfect, but over here we got something special. Let's listen to that. See, 
the beat over here, that's not just a straight one two beat. That's something a little bit crazier, more, I don't know, not one two. Got kicks all over the place with that. So what I do is I uh, take this, I copy it, and then I paste another one of them over here. Making sure it is selected, you gotta unselect all that. And then only select one of these pitch drops and command C that for copy. Then go up to whatever track you're gonna edit up here. And go down to see your crazy beat. And see where each kick lines up. So you know it goes. Kick, 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 kick. Come up here, select that, and just first up paste that kick that you copied earlier in every paste it in every kick. Here. There's one here. It's nice to stay consistent with your side chains so it doesn't end up sounding weird if you switch beats. Another one here. And then another one right here. So this is what this first four bars sound like. And then what you want to do is again, do again is select it all, command C that and copy and paste it for the rest. I'd say make sure you select this, select this part, make it yellow or white if it's not solo, then you can copy and paste it. Forgot to do that just now. All right, we got the whole thing laid out. You can go ahead and delete this part. This is just to copy the kick over here. Then I got you got the sub bass, which hasn't been side chained yet. All right, and now they should all have the right side chain. over here <laughs> amazing so uh all right we got that down luck if you guys have any questions email at me at robloxstar127 in my diamond under chest and let's take a listen to this masterful song the volumes are going crazy over there. Let's just skip ahead to the other part. All right, one thing that I didn't do because I was just not really doing anything, not really doing it right, you don't want these individual things to go into the yellow because if they go into the yellow this might go into the red and make your song clip and it'll when you export it it'll like lower the volume so it doesn't break your ears when you listen to it but it might over lower it too much and uh, make it not sound good so just try not to do what this is doing right here i forgot to mention you can um change the volume make it not go in the yellow I'll just use this one as an example. Select that beat. Make it not go in the yellow without having to change all that volume stuff you just did. What you can go here is select that. Go to the EQ. And I like to turn on analyzer. Oh, I just turned it off. 
Go here and lower the gain. As you can see, it's getting dramatically quieter. I only lower it just a tiny bit most of the time, but it really helps when you don't want to go in and select all those volumes and lower them. And it makes everything look even because they're all going to the same line. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next Roblox Let's Play.